Be before we start, I really want to credit you guys. Um, I am seeing such tremendous progress with everyone and things that frustrated you last year. I'm seeing you push through and like uh, accomplish. And I just want you to know, I, I am seeing you, watching you, observing your process. And uh, it's great. Like you're making really, really great process, progress, all of you. And I think that's exciting. Like, I think it's kind of exciting. You know, last year, Anik, you were excited about, you know, doing people. And this year, it's a totally different thing. Mm -hmm. You've just kind of incorporated that in, and now we're going forward. So I just think it's really great not to call you out originally. I think everybody's doing great. So I'm totally stoked. Oh, right, what comes after flowers? Animals. Okay. Yes. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't that make sense, though? Because petals, yes. I want to make Sandra happy, but also because, <laughs> <laughs> but also because petals and uh, petals are very sort of analogous to fur and feathers, right? And eventually that stuff will translate over into landscapes, which we'll probably move to next. We'll probably end the year on cityscapes. We'll just see. I think that would be nice. If you guys want to stay in painting, I would suggest that's what we do. Um, so yeah. So I don't know where figure drawing and portraiture will fall into that, or if you're even interested in that this year, we can maybe start in January with that in 2023. We'll just see. We'll see how we feel. Okay, so let me pop this up. So I picked, um, I love pansies, like Sandra said, and I picked this one you're going to notice a couple of things. One is that my canvas is, is vertical rather than horizontal. I wasn't sure I wanted to do all the rest of this, but just look at this guy. Look at the fantastic, yes, I know it's amazing, Kitty. <clears throat> look at the fantastic structure in this flower. Number one, one, two, three, four petals. Number two, super fantastic contrast, right? medium, light, dark, light, right? And all these fun edges where like darks kind of blur in to lights. I hope what you know by now is that, and, and then options here, right? For the rest of this, you can do all of these, you can add these in. I hope you know by now that you don't have to get every single one of these little lines to make this look real right, to make this breathe. And that part of what you're learning is how you like to make marks on the canvas. So it's pretty neat. So let's get started. Let's start, of course, with the black and white. See, look at that, look at that contrast. Contrast is a really good thing, as I say often in art. And I'm just gonna start with this, And I want you to observe really carefully what I'm doing. I'm not actually drawing the petals first. We know that what happens, is, what happens when you draw the petals first? You try to draw this petal, what happens? Anybody? Maybe you get the proportion wrong between them. Yeah, you make things too big, right? Curve lines. So we're gonna start, we wanna make sure that we start with our outer shapes to help us structure the petals. Look at these, it's just a series of little triangles, right, in between. Um, as usual, I'm gonna kind of bring this here. So I'm kind of, you know, as, as usual, just sort of, I'm gonna end my, my painting here, although maybe I'll change my mind on that. I'm just gonna like decide my vertical distance based on my space. It doesn't matter what size this is, it could be any size, right? Um, because I know how to use proportions then. Let's draw this guy. We'll draw a line straight through as always. And then let's find the halfway point. So if you're looking at this on your computer screen, here, let me pop up. Let's practice this, right? If you're looking at this on the computer screen, prop your com computer screen so it's um, let's see, straight up like this, 
right? And you can stand away from it. This is my phone, but you could use this with your computer so that you can hold your arms straight out and you can measure. Where the halfway point? I'm going to see. The key here is that you have to keep your arm straight and you have to keep your pen or whatever you're using to measure with, right? It can't go like that, it can't go like this. It's got to be straight. It can work like a windshield oh. wiper. I remember when I finally really understood what that meant, right? That's the real translation that's happening. Uh, your mind wants you to go like this as you're like, right, as you're kind of measuring things, it wants to go this way. But that's not the direction you can go on the paper. Paper is flat. You can only go straight this way or that way. So, and then I can come back and check it, right? It looks like the halfway point is right here, just above this little triangle that's in the center. with orange so we can really see it. I'll remove my spotlight so we can see it better. Right, so we've got this guy here. And then if I draw this across, oh, let's give ourselves quarter points too. I can do that the same way. I mean, if I have the paper in front of me, which I do, I can measure by actually touching the paper, right? And doing this, so I could even put a, a ruler up. If I don't have the paper, this is when I need to do this. Oh, wow, it's almost exactly, the width is almost at the middle, it's almost the same as the height. It's virtually the same. How interesting. Technically, we could draw a square around this whole thing. We're not going to. But I know, so I know that if I find my halfway point, my halfway point doesn't have to be the same size. Let's see. Gee. My halfway point doesn't have to be the same size as this one. It just has to be the same proportion. And then I know that my distance, my width at the halfway point is the same as my height. Do you see how I've kind of marked this on my pencil? Now I'm gonna double check it. Sure, I didn't make it too big. Yep, perfect. And then I can sketch that in and this in. Mark in my quarter points two. Oops, that's not right. One, two. Here, here, and here, right? So that when I start, I can just start the sketch like that. Kind of like a weird, I don't want to say it's a circle exactly, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, dodecahedron or something. I really love having these points here. It makes me feel so much better kind of knowing where my points are. Leah, can I ask a question? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, Hi, sorry. Uh, um, this is actually not about immediately the drawing. I have yeah. a pad of paper which is stuck together at the sides all the way around. Uh -huh. oh, yes. You should take a, a exacto you have to knife. A knife, a thin, a, take a thin, take a, any knife really. But if you have I an exacto find, knife, I can't find where the it's split. So I every time you, I struggle with this. You just need to put it. It won't necessarily show you. So I think you just need to run an exacto knife through. But and see it you, put put am I in uh, put am I in um, yeah. in view the view. Yeah. I just fight with it every time and like no, now no. I just you should hold it up so we can you see. You should it. make a mark once you know what brand is it. 
Teschelling. Oh, so it's German. I don't know. Uh, so there's no little teeny places. tiny. Isn't there one or two little t? I'm sorry, Sandra. Isn't there one or two little teeny tiny spots where there is none of that you stuff? Can no, it's all glued all the way around. I can tell, like, for mine, if you look at a, the, the glue has got like a shiny thing, and the part where you split the paper is not shiny. So if can you look you at it in the light. Can you take a picture of that, Sandra, and send it across the thread? Okay. I mean, I've got, I've got into it now, but I've kind of made a mess, you know, and it kind of right. feels well, like because you have to get into it in the right place. Yeah. And once you know it, you should mark it, perhaps. But maybe right. also I don't know whether a, different, I can actually... a different pad of paper, just because it sounds sort of frustrating. Most of I mean, the I... watercolors have, most watercolor papers have, um, they have a, at least one place where you can come through and see it. So. Sorry to interrupt. Anyway. That's okay. That's no, it's annoying. Is. annoying me every time we started. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I get um, that because I also once bought uh, the, the I almost completely glued. So, well, right. why, is so I, why is it glued? Why do they do that? Uh, because uh, this way it doesn't, it's watercolor paper, right? Yeah. No, that's usually, papers, like, well, usually what happens is when, when you get it wet, if it's glued like that, which is actually much, much more expensive than normal pads, it doesn't um, wrinkle. Doesn't it wrinkle. Burn. Yeah, yeah, it's not getting wavy finished, also. But when you you should you should cut it off only when you're finished, because the ah. advantage of it being glued is that it doesn't wrinkle when it gets wet. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Sorry. And Sorry. actually, by the so, time it's finished, you might see it better. Before uh, you guys get into the actual drawing of this flower, I really want to see your um, map, flower map. It should look like this. Give me a couple minutes. You do. Be right back. Oh, test. What's happening? He's dipping his paws in my water and <laughs> playing with it. Yeah, he's helping. <laughs> Um, I've sent a picture of mine. It just looks slightly different where you open it. All right, sorry. I had to check the menagerie. Ugh. Oh yeah, thank you for sending that, Sandra. That's super helpful. I don't know whether you can see it. If you make it bigger, you can see it's slightly different. This looks great. That looks great, Ani. What? Um, I'm gonna take it away. Take it away. This looks great. Okay, and then of course, once you've done that, you can start to add in these. So see, see how little they are. I just think, 
and I was really observing this. I just want to like kind of confirm for you guys that this idea about size is a continuing structure, is a continuing struggle. I was just working with Diana this week and we were both painting portraits. And I realized that this portrait I was painting, I completely, I had marked the nose in the right place and then I completely painted it up like at least two or three millimeters, which we know is a big difference in face, right? I kept going, why does this not look like, oh, damn it. <laughs> so, so I want you to know how easy it is to drift off yeah. from, it's, it's, uh, it's real easy to drift off from your regular things. So don't, don't feel bad about it, just but kind of be aware. It's sort of a constant vigilance. Oh, and by the way, I'm using my quarter points to help me place these. So I just noticed I have this too low. So my quarter points, how do I, what do I mean by that? I mean, if I were to run a line from my quarter point to the edge, you can see here, right? It kind of starts towards the bottom. You can see mine was way too low. So here. So I want you to be aware, this is a, it's a battle we're fighting. It's a valid battle. It's a valiant battle. <laughs> yeah. So once we have these, it becomes so much easier to get this shape in. Right? It gets so much easier to find these shapes because I kind of see their starting points. I feel great comfort. Uh, that's why I love to measure. That's what it does. That's what measuring does for me. It helps me, it gives me the comfort of knowing, oh, okay. I can still adjust it, right? I can still do stuff like this. I can still adjust it as I want to, but um, I kind of, it's, it, it's helpful to me to know the beginnings and ends. I'm going to also, let's see. Good. Rashmi, you can pull this out a little bit more and also this a little bit more. You'll see. You've got yours kind of in. If I were to do it, it looks more like that. Okay. Right. Uh, bottom looks good. Now go ahead and like, you can go ahead and finish these now. And when I mean finish, I mean, here we go, right? Then we get our bigger petals. And there's a kind of rhythm to this. It's like, a, um, it's like from the biggest shape to this, the next biggest shape to, um, and now we're going to move to the transitions between light, medium, and dark. So you're going to observe. I'll have to resketch this in orange so you can really see them. I'm not going to have you get into the detail yet. I'm just going to have you sort of mark off generally where they start, and where they end. God, these are just extraordinarily beautiful. Sandra and I were ooing and eyeing over hers this morning from the garden. I'm sure you all have them too in your garden. I only sent them to you, Leah. But, I like, but, but we all time. have that, right? But we all have them, right? Like there's such a common flower to have. There's so much fun. Well, in some right. parts, it's almost I the only one you can have, have in winter. I don't have them. <laughs> because it's not cold enough. They're too small for my garden. Really? Oh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Not even in pots on the porch on your new deck. You want to have pots in a hundred? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. My neighbor uh, yesterday planted uh, those in our garden, the common garden. Oh, wow. For us, it's almost yeah. too late to plant them. I mean, like, they're going to die in two months no here it's, here it's too hot to have mm. pot, pots unless it's some cacti right and here's just the, the spring is just starting so 
It's perfect. Well, I like uh, it's nice to plant them in the fall because then they survive all winter, no matter how cold it is. Mm. In the snow, in the ice. They are, and they look like little people. Mm -hmm. I must say they're one of my least favorite flowers. I can't really, really tell you why. Um, they are weird I looking. Absolutely adore them. They're weird looking. Um, I, I can see that they are so grandmother. They are grandmothers. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I, I used to I, think they looked too delicate, but then I, when I saw that they withstand the coldest weather, I was impressed. I will. I'm going to share you guys. Uh, there is a woman who. Um, does baked goods in my neighborhood with flowers on them. She makes this edible, insane pastry. Uh, let's see. Oops, oops. Here, I'm sending this across so you guys can see it. Here we are. And you get to decide what you want to do. Now, if you want to, you can also decide what you'd like to do with color. I might stick with these colors, but if you want to, you can totally replace it. You can use any color you want, as long as it matches value, right? The values that are there. So I like to kind of get these, look, it looks like a butterfly. Yes. Look at this. Here's the sort of outline. Observe, I'm not getting any of that sort of rock, you know, this sort of wavy stuff in because I know even if I try to do it now, I'm going to make it too big. How do I know this? Hard, bitter, earned experience. <laughs> Total. <laughs> I mean I'm moving a face. Do you know how fun that is? It's so fucking awful. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> but it's impossible not to have it happen. It just has to happen. I mean, there's just yeah. no way around it. Yeah, I know. You're, you know what I mean? Like you're going to miggle around until you get them. Yeah, I do, Diana. I had to totally move. Half, like I didn't have to do the whole face, but I had to move like definitely all the... I have to move the whole face. I'm so sorry. The one <laughs> on the right has yeah. to move in? Okay. Yeah. At least you hadn't really done much to their No, no, I hadn't done features. nothing to the features. And, and this is actually a great, can you take a picture of that and show that? So this is another reason measuring is so great um, and that Diane is doing it, right? Because she didn't dive in to do any of the detail until she knows she's got everything in place. Right? Yeah. Take a look at this and you'll see. Uh, wow. Anik looks good to me. It's good to me. So Anik, what, um, uh, I'm a little stem here. What, um, what color, what, uh, what uh, under color do you want to use for your underpainting? Do you have thoughts about that? I think I'll be very predictable and we'll go with Alzarin. Alzarin, nice. These cool colors are really working for you. Yeah, I sent you mine. I'm doing a different flower, so the shape is not slightly the same different. As Can you send me a picture? Did you send me a picture I did. of the flower? Okay, great. Yeah. You're all on it. I know you guys are way more on it than me. Oh yeah, that one. I love that one. I it's think a bit Sandra, more elongated you'll than be yours. able to get it quickly. So. Yep, looks good to me. Um, the only thing, Sandra, is uh, here. Sit, right. So you have this, it's a little too far in like this. Oh, yes, you're right. Like, yep. Hey, look, like, like I said, this is what we all do. <laughs> so it's totally, totally normal to make that. Yeah, just nip it in a little bit. Uh, I've done it three times on this flower already. I just kind of quickly corrected it. And Sandra's working on one I kind of picked for her because I knew she was going to be doing watercolor. You guys can see it if you want. It's very, it's in, it's that it's yellowy white one and the red. The last one. So pretty. So notice I'm really not getting into that detail yet. I'm just blocking in. And also, Anik and everybody else who finishes as you finish this, you'll want to. Um, Pick your underpainting color. 
I think my underpainting color, because I'm trying to challenge myself. Sending you a couple of flowers from my garden that's flowering right now. Yes, please. And I love the second one. That's that's a tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but it flowers. Wow. Hello. And I observe, I am just kind of adding a little, I'm adding a bit of that other flower in, but you guys can do what you want here. You do not have to. I'm just kind of sketching it in so that if I wanted it there, I could have it. Oops, there we go. Let me send it in. Oh, Diana, look at that. Look at that. Uh, Linda, that's looking pretty good. It's a little bit wider here. And this little center is much bigger. So make sure you get this center, right? Including that sort of white. Oh. It's more like a oh, one of them is Sorry, I have to go and rescue an injured child. So I'll oh, be back. Oh, no. Oops. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Emma and her boys. You know, I remember when um, we very first, I don't know if you guys remember this, we very first started these classes and uh, there was a woman and another woman in the Berlin Bureau who had one daughter uh, just as the pandemic was starting. And um, Emma was like, <laughs> and she was like, I find the pandemic so relaxing and my daughter and I do things. And Emma said, you have a girl. <laughs> One. You have one girl. <laughs> it's very different in my house. <laughs> it's a lot of chaos. <laughs> and I never forgot that. I was like, oh, yes, for some people, this is a harder. <laughs> when pandemic started, we were potty trained. Oh, my God, that's right. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Now he's yes. in kindergarten. Yeah, it's, uh, we are already picking the preschool. That's like, crazy. Or preschool, yes. Six, like, uh, I mean, uh, the, this kindergarten then comes preschool, like the six-year-old simply thingy. So we are already picking it. Wow. <laughs> crazy. It's Honestly, crazy. Uh, if, you have, if, if you have a child that you can do things with, that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was just cute. It was so peaceful there. And then, and then uh, you know, it was like, I mean, you know, all kids are not the same. And one is different, is and, different. and the boys are different and um, yep. all of that. I know it's really unhip to say that right now, but I believe it to be true. If everyone is different. So Every my children should be the same. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, yeah. yeah. I have impression that the flower that's uh, the one that's exactly the same that's, uh, that you're doing now, yeah, it's more difficult than the one that is basically facing us. Right. There's <laughs> more things happening for some There's reason. a lot of things happening, but it's looser. So we don't have to worry so much, right? Remember like last yeah. one when we were talking about that? Um, and for those of you who are done, once you've got your drawing, once you've got your drawing prepped, All right, so when, let's see, pop this in. Um, one of the things I observed as I was looking at this, I'm gonna have to change it here. I'll actually change it here before I start. 
Um, I did observe that like this pedal is kind of, I have it more halfway, but really it's a little bit, comes in a little bit more on this side. See that? So I can, so I'm like, like this side looks pretty good. But this side, I've had it out a little bit too far. So I'm bringing it in, see? There, yes. Which probably means I have this sticking out a little bit too much. I mean, you can get really anal about this and you don't really, you know, your, your anal with quotient is absolutely kind of up to you what you can put up with. All right, there we go. <laughs> I hope uh, some of you will be able to join us for Marie's last pastel class on oh, Sunday. That's tomorrow. Is that uh, Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. Uh, uh, drawing is tomorrow. Um, oh, yeah. It's going to be really nice. I, you know, those are great classes, and I think her students have really come a long way. People who have taken that class have really gone. So you, you want to come at least to say goodbye, but also maybe to have one more, you know spin with um, pastels. Rashmi, okay. Rashmi, look at where these shapes are. See how you've kind of skinnied this out here? You, you've just really pay attention to where the shapes are. Right? Look at this shape. Look mm. at this one, right? You have yours like all like crunched up right against the Okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to really pay attention to that. I feel like this is a little bit, let's see, this one's okay. But look at these white, look at the space between the white shapes, space between the dark shapes. Try to get more of a feel of that. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't scrunch it up so much. Give it more space. Work. Let the flower breathe. Uh, anybody else done? Anybody else getting ready to paint? I thought I might try something totally different today and maybe. Let's do that. What are we doing? Since it's the last class of the quarter, not the last class by any stretch of the imagination, but the last class of the quarter. So <clears throat> I don't know if I told you guys about this little calico kitty that's been hanging around my house, but I fed it. And yesterday I took her to the, um, oh, Linda, lovely. There you go. Nice. Uh, don't, this is bigger than you had it. Don't lose that. Don't lose this light when you're painting. Other than that, this looks great. Um, you took it to the where you? I took it to the Feral Cat Coalition to get spayed. So uh, you were able to it. capture it? Yeah, she totally lets me pet her and like she and lets me pick is she her back up. from the getting neutered? Yes, and guess what? She had already been spayed. Already so before she her. before you yes. brought her. Before I brought her. So is she below somebody? So did they have to cut in her to discover that? No, they put her, no. they did anesthetize her, but then they saw the space scars. So they um, did a little mark. So that'll be there. They, they do a little thing with chipped. their ears. Yeah, she was not chipped. She was spayed, but not chipped. Is she and chipped she, now? No. no. I took Aww. her to the fair. They don't do that. Um, but I was like, so maybe so mad. <laughs> so mad. Because I was like, 
but it, you know, actually, this cat belonged to somebody um, at some point. Um, and they said she was an adult, but they she had adult teeth. So she's an adult. So are you going to adopt her, Leo? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. I Why mean, I you keep her then. What? Why I, I will eventually ship her. Yes, mostly she seems pretty. You know, like she mostly she doesn't leave. She hangs out in my yard. She I have a little bed for her, a warming bed so she can stay warm in a sheltered place. I would let her. I let her last night. She was in my studio because she needed. You know, she was. Still was she alone sleep. in the studio? She doesn't sleep with another cat, right? Like no, Jeremy. no, no, no. Because we might fight here. Yeah. No, they seem, everybody seems to get along, actually. It's really interesting. But I was like so kind of blown away by that, that she had already, that somebody, and also if you really want to feel good about human beings, you need to go to your local feral cat alliance. There are most, I think most cities in the U.S. have them where they will, uh, it's a nonprofit where they will spay a neuter feral cats and so you have to drop them off at a certain time and then everybody comes to pick them up at the same time and you just see all these really great people who have taken the time to trap a feral cat or maybe a not so feral cat right but like outdoor cats and to get them taken care of and when you go they not only they give you really clear instructions on how to take care of them they give you food for the cat, they give them flea medications, they vaccinate them, oh, they good. fix them for worms. It's a really fantastic. And then you see all these people, like this one guy had three cats and traps, woozy cats and traps. And uh, he was like, I finally got the mother. <laughs> so now the mother will not have any more kittens. And maybe she's a barn cat, right? Like maybe she hangs around outside, but like you just saw all these people really caring about these cats. It was very sweet. I once read somewhere that oh, the sign puppies. of a good vet is a, a vet that uh, volunteers to to work for, for these places occasionally. Yes, right? yes. It was really amazing. I just felt so good about the whole experience. Um, it just felt fantastic. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go. I have this crazy. I have this turquoise color. It's literally called turquoise. It's your, turquoise. it's your favorite color. It's my favorite color, and we're gonna try that. I don't. I don't, I never do that as a base. So I'm gonna try that as a base just to see. This might define the top colors that I pick. And I notice I'm. I'm staying. Uh, I'm not gonna move us over quite yet to the. Um, I'm not going to move us over quite yet to the uh, the color version. If you want to use that, I may not, because I want us to stick with values. So you'll observe here that I've got this. It's a very dark color, so I'm using a bit of water, and I'm going to start with my dark areas. But kind of look at how pretty that is. That's so pretty. Kind of strong. Yeah, it was really a great, it was a very gratifying experience to kind of go through it. And they were like, nope, she's totally been spayed already. And it didn't really cost me anything. I mean, I just got to donate whatever I could afford. It was nice. All right, so this is the darkest areas. And then I'm going to go in around the edges here. So observe, I'm kind of doing the darkest areas and notice I'm leaving the lightest areas. And if I keep painting without putting any water in, my, my paint generally gets a little bit lighter. So you see that? So as I, if I want my paint to get, I use more water or I just keep going as the paint kind of runs out. And I'm skipping over the lightest parts of the flower. Oh, there go those dips again. Love them. Love them. So this is how this looks. And let's see, let me. This is how this looks with the darker parts. I'm gonna take a picture. Darker parts, the darker values. And then you'll wanna add in a more watery version of the color for your lighter values.
Oh, what a cutie, Linda. What a doll face. Yeah, it's cute, isn't he? He's Unfortunately, so cute. too far <laughs> from oh, me. Oh, right. <laughs> In Italy, right? Yeah. Oh my There's goodness. this Italian artist I follow on uh, Instagram, and I'm going to try and get him to teach a three session class. He does these really wonderful. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he does these wonderful, very abstract kind of city and landscapes. Everything looks sort of rounded, and um, it's, nice. it's just amazing. Yep, better, Rashmi. All right, go ahead and start painting. Decide what your values painting. You do not have to do what I'm doing. This is a little ballsy. <laughs> so notice to make a kind of lighter version, I'm literally going in with less with more water. If I feel like I lose my values, like I have a little bit here, I might darken. Um, as we know, if you're working in acrylic, it does not hurt to go dark. Go dark. Embrace the dark. The dark is beautiful. It's what, it's what <laughs> highlights the light. If you say so. I'm so frustrated by this. I know it's really, it can be really awful. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> it's, not, it's my it's own like, fault. Well, no, it's not fault. It's just part of the process that's frustrating. It's not a question of fault. It's just, I totally feel you. I'm so... I'm working on a, you know, I'm working on a painting myself. Okay, I freaking love this. You see these drips that are coming down? I love them so much. I might even incorporate this into the final painting. We will see. I might like, so I'm going to paint down. Even though I said I was going to just do... I love the drips. Drips just look at all that movement and motion. I'm just trying to get a little bit of paint everywhere for my first layer. <laughs> it's now dripping down my table and dripping onto my knee. Well, heck. I've just found another device that holds, um, I think, uh, cell phones up straight and tablets up straight. So I might do that, incorporate that into the next class. Oh. I know, Diana, I just feel you. <laughs> I feel you so much. I totally feel you. Here, I'll go out and get a little picture of her so you can see this cat. I might cancel this assignment. The only good thing with moving something is that you get so many layers that the painting looks good. Build their linings. Yeah. Here she is, my new cat. Let's oh, see. Can I see? Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Sending her across. No, you a picture. I'm sending a picture. Yo, no, I yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, so she did let me pick her up, and then the first thing I did was throw her into a exactly. I was thinking that she's not gonna. She totally Why doesn't not? seem to have any fear of me, but she's definitely not. She does now. <laughs> yeah, no, she actually doesn't seem afraid of me at all. She's she's all lovey. Like she's like, oh, you're taking care of me. Even though she didn't like that experience, she oh, she looks a little bit like Julia. She does look a little like Julia. Yeah. Oh, she's sweet. She's um, we wild shell, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's she the cutest. She's 
She has yeah, like find a name for one her. dark poem, one blonde poem. I know, she's just the cutest. She's black. really cute. So now all she does is come up to me and like roll on her belly so I can I can I can give her a scratch. She's like completely friendly, but I won't say she and she didn't start out that way. It took me about two months to be able to get to touch her. But now she's just cuddly. And now what I know is she, I don't know what happened to her, but somehow she you know, needed she, a new home. She belonged to somebody and now she doesn't. My boyfriend well, says, she don't does. Get now she does. Now she does, right? My boyfriend's like, don't get too, Leah, we don't know what happened to her. Don't get too upset. <laughs> I get upset. I'm like, the cat's no, behalf when you don't know what happened to her. It. You have yeah. to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. But she's easy. You know, she stays outside. Um, she comes in. I can let her in. She totally knows how to use a litter box. So, that's uh, and she and Muka really get along. Quite oh, really? Much. Yeah, they roll around on their backs and um, and stretch their paws out to each other when they're both outside. So it, it's really cute. They don't hiss or fight at all. They are very similar in personality. I Maybe think. she's a former friend of Mukha. Uh, oh, from another time. Life. From yes, another time, different very life. possibly. Very possibly. She's a doll and she's easy. I mean, she mostly stays outside. She doesn't really want to be inside most of the time. So it's not like it's required. Of that, but. but it was interesting to go find out, oh yeah, actually she was, she had a life. She's an adult. She's a girl. <laughs> Um, obviously this looks like such a mess right now. I was thinking about how much of a mess these look. Uh, I'll pop this up so you can start looking at your top colors. So you can do these colors if you want to, or you can totally do your own colors. I'm still kind of undecided. I might try to do these colors because I think they're kind of nice. Let me clean up my palette a little bit. But I want to give you, for those of you who took this class last week, everybody picked their own colors and knocked it out of the park. Ani went for these beautiful neutrals. Um, Linda went for, God, most, the most interesting use of red, Linda, I have ever seen, like totally worked so well with her iris. Um, everybody did great on their irises and picking colors. And so you can feel pretty free to pick whatever color you want. It, Linda, I would suggest with you, you try that again because it works so well. And I like it because, and and you too, Ani, because I think you're moving towards a palette that you like. You know what I mean? Like you're starting to find the colors that you like. They're not gonna be the same as mine or Diana's or whoever's, right? Like they're not gonna be the same as each other's. And uh, I want you to start to feel what colors, this is why we spend a lot of time talking about warm and cool but why I want you to kind of stick with the colors that you've got, uh, sort of gradually expand. Um, by the way, I'm gonna go quickly, get myself a little bit more coffee, I'll be right back. Let's see. Yeah, nice, Anik, yeah. So I would just say, pick a color that equals right, dark, medium, and light. And you can start with those. You can start with those. You're going to start with the bigger. I'll get in this. Mine is still a little bit wet. So if you're if yours is still a little bit wet, take a break. Get a little cup of coffee or a tea refill or booze. You guys, it's late in the day for you. You can totally do. Booze. Yes, yeah, that, that's the last one. That's the last. One. <laughs> but I'm wondering right how to how to make this violet violet blue. I mean, you know. Uh, I would take your darkest, coolest blue and maybe alizarin and crimson and mix them. Or I'll try. Try, I mean, just try mixing, try mixing, try mixing different reds and blues and see what happens. Oh, oh. What's happening? Somebody trying to escape, but it's not the, it's not the Leo. Strago is is looking for birds. 
those birds. Such Hey, sunshine. Not yet, not yet, sunshine. So you have to wait. You have to wait. Those of you who feel ready to jump ahead, I, well, I'd like to see your underpainting. So just send me the, you know. Those of you who are ready to jump ahead, you can start mixing and blending. I'm gonna do that in a minute, another minute when this dries. Uh, my mother?
Just go and grab some tea and I'll be right back. How's everybody doing? I think I'm finally dry. It's here. actually uh, harder than it looked. As always. <laughs> 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 because it's about edges. So let's talk about that a little bit. Great transition, Sandra. You're on it this morning. Um, oh, very nice, Linda. I like the base. So let's talk a little bit about this. Um, I'm going to start once again, as I always do with my darkers. And I'm going to try and mix a purple. I like that magenta color and I'm going to try and mimic it. I have a little bit of ultramarine blue here. And where's my Alizarin Crimson? Where are you? Here you are. Alizarin Crimson, I think, is going to get me the closest. That kind of burgundy color. Although maybe. Do that. Yes, I'm going to start that. I want to at least get that in. So I've got a little bit of that here. I'm going to try mixing and see what happens. Um, I want some. I want some white and yellow. So I am sticking pretty close to the colors. Um, And I'm using a warm yellow, kind of cadmium yellow. So the question is, what color do I want my medium to be? Hmm. This is very burgundy. This is purple. I guess I'm going to give them through to the colors. No, I'm just wondering if I want to. I kind of like them. I'm sort of entranced by them. So because with the turquoise, the or orange is always nice. Oh, great idea. Okay. I'll do that. I've never seen turquoise pansies. Turquoise is the base. Oh. Um, all right, so I'll throw in a little cadmium red there. Great, thanks, Diana. You helped me push me out of that zone. So I've got a slightly uh, smaller brush, still a flat. Yes, I like this. And I can see that this is definitely giving me this kind of orangey purple and on this first layer i'm just going to once again i'm not really getting into the edges very much i'm more defining like my underpainting kind of the edges of where the the sort of uh underlying shapes of where that dark goes so you see that's still pretty um it's still pretty uh blocky Getting this in. I'm going to add those edges in really later. So I'm kind of like adding it in. And of course, if I want to adjust the color later, I can. I'm using a little bit my edge, but I'm not doing too much edging right now, right? You can see it. It's still pretty flat. And then um, let's see, I'll clean up my brush pretty nicely. I'm going to go into the medium. So, as Diana suggested, I'm going to try mixing a bit of an orange color with my yellow and my cadmium red. Let's see how that looks. So I'm skipping over the white. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And I'm 
rushing in. Oh yeah, great, Diana, good choices. Also, once again, sort of blocking in this medium color that's here. I'm getting it a little bit in the center. Notice I'm skipping the, um, notice I'm skipping the lightest part. I'm gonna add that in last. And I'm also skipping over the parts that are lighter in my petal, in my medium petal. So see, I'm kind of going over those right now. I'm just adding in my darker layers. I always like to see what my darks are doing. And I'm also using a lot less water so that I have a bit more control over, um, over my uh, paint. It's not dripping all over the place. It's kind of staying more. Okay, so there we go. There's a little bit in here too, right? So now I'm going to add a lot more yellow and brush that in. And I want you to observe that as I do this, I'm doing this pretty quickly, that I'm kind of blending the edges a little bit. So there's a little bit more of a transition a soft transition. So I'm going to take a lot of the yellow and kind of go to this edge where the light meets the medium. And I'm kind of tapping in, right, brushing. So already that creates some kind of nice structure, even in this big part. So this is really going to be a lesson in soft edges. And what's key is that I need to make sure my um, my paint is wet on both sides. So right, so I just laid in that orange, and now I'm kind of laying in the the yellow, and and now I'm trying to get anywhere I see a strong edge like this. I'm going to try and brush it into my dark so that my dark is still there. If I feel like I lose my dark, it gets too light. I can go back in with more red. So this is my first experience with the blend. We're gonna be using this all over. And notice I still haven't, oh, such a good idea, Dan, I like it. Um, oh, so see, I added yellow in and it got too hard. So now I'm going back, sorry, red in and it got too hard. So now I'm going back in with just yellow and kind of blending the edge again. That needs some sort of chopping. We've talked a lot about blending. We've talked a lot about blending, it's a practice. But this is an edges thing. Really, it is all about edges at the end of the day. So I'm gonna add down here, I took long enough to get here, where I'm gonna add my yellow in, and then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna wet around the edge. Can you see that here? So that I can actually blend. Now, Emma, I remember, likes to sort of dry brush over. She like, she kind of prefers to work. Or I, I know you've had like real good luck, Emma, with this technique where you're, you're, you're kind of dry brushing your light over your dark. And I think that will work tremendously well here. This dry brush over the edges. I think uh, it would be nice, though, if you could um, uh, try a softer edge here with these bigger petals. Although really you should just do what you want to do. <laughs> Again, uh, nice Rashmi, is that Burke Sienna? Yes. Do you have color in the light parts too? Mm. Get your color in the light parts. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then you're ready to jump in and start picking your darker colors. So already look at how much this has kind of started. I've got to wait a minute. Beautiful. It's, be I mean, they're so structured. It is beautiful. I like the colors. Says Diana Fitton. No, I didn't pick them. I just <laughs> just suggested. Oops. Mm. 
It's so tight. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually going to leave you soon because I've played. You got stuff to do? <laughs> I'm playing a good neighbor, driving my neighbor to the airport. You're doing oh, a lot of driving to the airport. Yeah. You are a good neighbor. I just sent my by so you can see it with the colors. Um, although the colors look pretty good on the screen right now. In a little bit, I'll show you how to add the lights in and then how to go back and forth with the darks. But I wanna give you guys a chance to kind of catch up here. And, you know, you could decide to just do kind of a, you know, these sort of soft neutral backgrounds. I didn't quite make it, but I think. Let's see it. Yeah, I gonna. I haven't put in the ear yet, but it's it's close. It's close, <laughs> but it's not quite. But it's better. I appreciate you sending the um, the. I appreciate, I appreciate you sending all the different phases. I'm going to put this down so you can see it. Uh, so we can see both of them. So this is the first one. Ah, faces are so hard. <laughs> Just so hard. They're so hard. Let's see. All I right. Really get him closer. I could make his face a little bit smaller than it is naturally, but. but Are you talking about the one on the right? Yeah. I think that's fine. I think his, you got it. His ear is gonna. You may wanna slightly thin up his neck, but I, that's something you can deal with later. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that looks great. So do you guys see what she did there? She added in, if you can see the one on this side, his, his, the side of his head was kind of leaning off. And so she, she kind of moved everything over a little bit on the, yeah, I did. She added in and some background. The right it's, ear. I have to make it smaller. Yet. Oh, good. She has it. Well, but that might be what's happening. I wouldn't do that unless that's what's happening with the face. Oh, I mean, he has a big ear, but so the yeah. ear will hang on the side, but but I will paint out the ear on the side of the canvas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh. I think this looks great. Yeah, nice work. Um, and you can see she can do that. It took her about an hour and a half, right? Hour, yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. You can see she can do yeah. that because um, because she hasn't gotten into too much detail in the faces. You might think she has a lot of detail in the faces, but she hasn't really. No. She's and just got the pieces in places, which is what allows you to move things around. I had to do just as much moving around, Diana, as I said with my portrait. Um, when I was working on it with you, I was like, oh, damn it. Like three, two, two fairly detailed features that have to be moved. Oof. Yeah. I don't want to have to do that. Anyway, it happens. This is what happens. You get sort of obsessed with one area and you forget, you know, and then you look at, it doesn't take much to get off track. No. For a human, you know. For anything. No, no, but I mean, if a human is where it matters because our brain is so trained to recognize them. Well, I think it actually matters with everything on some level, but I think uh, it's easy, right? You can't really, I mean, you won't get likeness on a human if you don't 
get things in exactly. the right place. I mean, you're right, but it's yeah. for if everything is just that the I have, brain would be okay with it if it's not a human. And then I have th three of them. <laughs> yeah, you have three of them. I charge it. I charge per face when I'm doing a portrait because I'm like hell no, you know, like people are like, oh yeah, let's do three people or four even for animals, you have to charge by animals. Oh well, yeah, no, it's no. too much work. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump okay, in. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys. I Bye, see Diana. You tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep. But so I'm gonna add in my light now. And I'm still using my flat brush and I'm not using any water. I'm just like blending in. I'm going to try and get my light in and in a couple places. So notice I'm very much using the sort of, this is what I love about flats. I can use the top edge of the corner for blending in. And I'm using the kind of tip do you see this, what I'm doing here? I'm kind of blending a little bit of the light into the um, medium edge. I'm not dealing with the dark edge yet. I'm really mostly primarily. So Emma, this is a little bit more of the dry brush that we've talked about that you like so much. This is really great. It's like, see how I'm, I'm able to kind of brush in over with my light and now look at what's happening so i guess what the whole my the message that i want you to take away from in this is i don't have to get overwhelmed by the detail i need to focus on the detail where and now i'm definitely using the corner of my brush I really need to focus on the detail where light, where a lighter area meets a darker area, right? I work that out and I'm picking quite frankly, the simplest ones first. This is a slightly darker yellow, so I'm gonna brush it in here. little bit of yellow white here. And I'm going to blend out a little bit, just using the side, because there's a little bit of that. And in fact, it's kind of an orangey color. So I'm bringing in a little bit of, I'm grabbing a little bit of orange onto my yellow tip. You know. Might be too much. Yep, probably is too much. So I'm going to have to cut that back. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then we've got here. And I want you to really observe where this white comes in. Notice that it come, the light comes all the way down on the corner here and it stops about midway here. So, uh, and again, to reiterate, so, so blending, means that both sides are wet. And dry brush means that one side is dry. Because you're a beaver brush. The stuff that you're brushing into. So right now I'm doing kind of a little dry brush. See, you can also kind of take your um, you can also do a kind of softer edge like this by furring out using the, the flat edge of your brush. That also is a nice dry brush effect, right? And particularly on this side, wow, look at how great that's already looking. It's looking so nice already. It's got some life to it. Then I can just easily kind of come up here. Blend a little bit in there. yellow white. Okay. So that's like step three. The final step, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Now I'm going to go back in. And I think I want to try a couple of things. I'm going to try working with the littler brush. All right. 
I'm going to try working with a thinner brush and see how that works. I may not like it. So I may go back to kind of a, a softer brush. So here, you can see I got a little bit too dark. Let's see. Notice that the way these go is they're kind of thicker towards the base. And I'm not trying to draw everyone. I'm not trying to paint everyone in. I'm just, and they get thinner. It's a little tricky to use these skinny brushes. So I'm gonna explore a couple of other methods too. But do you see how I'm starting to bring in, not everything, just a few. So I could do this this way, right? And really get in some of that detail. Or I could do this, which you might really prefer. I could totally just do this. I could make this a soft edge. See that? See how I'm kind of brushing in, not getting all that detail. You can do either of these things and they will both work. So that's the really nice thing about pans is you'll find. So you don't have to get too much. So I can do this kind of little dry brush, right? See like this, or if I want to, I can get kind of crazy and try to use a little brush. And then it's just a question of kind of going back and forth in sort of working little edges. I can see now there's a little tiny light edge here. And I can see that this is a little bit lighter here. See how I'm tapping? Um, I might take kind of a thin line and add some of these detail. See how there's like kind of a little light edge. Now notice it's a little bit dark right now, or thick right now, this line, but I can see it. It's kind of around the whole edge of the flower. So I can add this in and then I can go in with a little bit of orange. and kind of clean it up, go right up to the edge so that you don't see so much of the line, it's a little bit thinner. I can also thin out my purple lines if I decide to get more detailed about it. I think either way works though. I think that's what's kind of nice about this system. Either way works. So I'm just giving you options you can decide what you like, what you feel up for, right? What you feel like you're ready to handle. <laughs> Go in the middle here and lighten things a little bit. Experiment with the different brushes. So now this is really the moment when you can kind of decide how detailed you want to make this. It will work either way. Now I'm kind of looking at these dark edges along here and wondering, do I want a few coming out? I can see it's super dark along this edge. And I kind of lost it when I was applying my medium. That happens sometimes. So I'm just coming back in here and you know, 
you're I'm just you're just you just get to work as much as you want to or as little as you want to. Maybe I just want a few leads, but I want to be careful not to do what I just did, right? There's little soldiers <laughs> right there. So if I'm gonna do that, I want to make sure everything doesn't look the same. Such, such an interesting process, these choices that we get to make. So I know these are going to look good. I've worked with you guys long enough. Look at, I'm kind of doing a little tapping where some of the dark, some areas, there's a little bit of dark, like with the edge of my brush. Who's so rude. Who's being, oh, is somebody walking in front of the camera? Mm, no, it's just a rabbit. Oh, rabbit. Don't be so rude, Kitty. Yes. He hasn't done anything to you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, I'm going to kill you kind of thing, but it's nevertheless. I give it a rest for a second. So you can see the different options happening. There's a lot of ways to do this and do this well. And it'll look good. Just depending on what kind of, like there's this side, which I've kind of expressed a little bit more. And then there's this side, which is softer. Both work. I'm not done yet, but. And then as well, you could be thinking about like, what do I want to do with my background? Do I want, you know, some light green with a little red in it? What do I want here? Careful not to get too much water. So I'd like these top layers to be near. I think I can have more yellow. I do want to do some more drips. Yeah, there we go. I'm adding some drips in because that's what I like to do. Right, so think about I might totally change this. Maybe I'll do something like blue and white instead and test it. Maybe I'll see, hmm, do I want a blue and white background instead? Oh, so flat. At least in this incarnation. I'm just testing things out to see how they look. If I don't like it, I can completely change it. Do I need to finish this? No. I can like look at it again and keep going. Interesting. I want to add in. So there's a lot of decision making that you can make. Sometimes it's just what you have the energy for. Uh, by the way, I will let me see if I can grab this now while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to send across the new, the correct schedule. Thinking about it.
I need to get it up here. But you didn't like him. <laughs> now he's like on top of him. Wow. Uh, in a good way or in a tackling way? Well, it's never way. in a good way. It's like yeah, the, it's always I tackling. own you kind of way. Then again, that's how they all kind of, everybody organizes that way. I suppose so. Right? Even if we don't like it. Oops. Mistake. Oh, don't be bratty. <laughs> don't, don't be so well, don't give us that. Okay, let's see if we can. Give me one second, you guys. I see. You don't, yeah, just flip. I was going to tell you, just flip it up and then pop it in there. It's really cool. It's official. Irises are easier. <laughs> you can Which send is amazing, it over. right? Because these are flat. Jesus, it, this it is looks so, so much easier. Um, get darker. I, uh, so just get darker with your darks yeah, uh, and lighter. I, um, I'm trying. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> Maybe uh, you should yellow up your white a little bit uh, to it's, allow it's it to be warmer. Um, yeah. Not as light. I like this sort of bright medium that you have in here, but maybe slightly yellowed white just to mm -hmm. get the. Oh, I like what's happening. It's happening. It's just happening slow. Well, we're going to go uh, about 10 minutes cool. longer because I gabbled on for 10 minutes before we got started. So. Oh, Sandra, that's looking nice. Really? I can Come see along. the drawing is a bit wrong. But... It's okay. This is, remember I told you this is all of practice. Yeah, I, you know, we thought I'd be able to do several, but there's no way. It's just too. Yeah, hard. there's a lot of detail. You know, I always think I'm always ambitious, over ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> I just have the impression that those are way easier or better. Yeah, I thought what, so too. What, what I thought it was going to be a cinch. Um, it's because of the edges, right? Yeah, and watercolor basically seems All right. better solution for this one. For this uh, I don't know. Color. I think it requires, I just think you need to learn to play with the, get the, get softer and harder. So you're going to go back and forth a bit, right? 
in between yes. here. You're going to be using your light going back in, right? Because Aniki lost a little bit your light. So you want to come back. Yeah, I, I, I'm struggling with this, with this, with this thing. I mean, uh, the transition okay. between the light. It's because everything has a soft edge between the light, the medium, and dark. You're going to lose it, and then you're going to get it back. That's how it works. Yes, yeah, so let's get it back. <clears throat> Let it dry. See how I'm coming back in and kind of getting mine back? By the way, I just sent over the a proper schedule starting for spring. So see how I was able, and I'm not actually a huge fan of all of these strands. I like them a little bit, but I don't want so many. So see how I'm going back in and kind of cutting some of them out, most of them really. I kind of prefer this softer, edge with less detail. I'm going to try going in here as well. Right, so once I add the white in, oops, too much. Let's see, the white kind of comes in here. Observe on these top petals that the white really stops at the center. Uh, it doesn't go all the way to the edge. On these bottom ones, it comes out to the edge. Yeah, I'm really finding that I'm liking less the detail. This is just me. Less those detailed pokey bits and more of this. Oh my God, painting is so great. Even when it's hard, it's great. Don't you guys think, is everybody in that space? Are you like, I hate painting right yes. now? Yes, no. Painting is so great. It's just the greatest. The struggle is great. Yeah, I really like that. So I uh, appreciate less of the detail. I might come around here, kind of re-edge this light because I can see it happening. That really helped a lot. See that here? I haven't exactly decided what to do here. There we go. Particularly, it seems to be important. Okay, that looks nice. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, look. I'm going to do this I can. Kind of loosely getting in at least one or two of these shapes, but I'm not getting into too much detail. See how I'm I'm brushing this in, but much looser. I'm not paying so much attention to the To the brush strokes, it's much like it's just more neutral in general and kind of not exactly as dark as anything in areas, kind of a little bit less dark. I've got this room. Yeah, I don't think I need to do much more than that. Mm -hmm. So I just put across the thread, by the way, the, um, the spring quarter schedule with the correct times. But if you're ever in doubt, well, you can text me. Half the time I'll be like, I'm gonna have to look at this schedule too, because I can't remember. Um, 
but you can also check the book online section on the website. Just go to book online and then it'll tell you what time the class starts. You don't have to actually book, just, just go to, just start to book and click on the date. and It'll tell you what time. Oh yeah, there you go. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna go long, let's see. A little bit darker here. Oh yeah, I like that. Probably gonna go darker, but I want to let it dry for a minute. Oh yeah, that looks like good. Pansies. Yeah, I actually think I want to go darker towards the bottom. Look at how nice that looks. As I go in kind of around, see how that really pushes my flower. And also it kind of mimics what's happening here. You know, it's a little bit darker as we go towards the sort of center of the stems. It gets slightly lighter as we move up here, which I can try to do. Let's see if that works. Kind of, not really light enough, but. I can just let it dry and then make a decision. I think they look like little old men, grumpy little old men staring at you. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Sandra, you did a nice job with that. I like those edges. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, it was it's hard. It's requiring concentration. Yeah, yep. I think also a problem is that the fact that it's so pale it makes it a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Work, it's working dark well. Thing. It's working well. It might feel more stressful for you as looking at it, but as somebody who's just looking at it, it's really working. Thank you. Just a second. Does, does it, do any of you have an air fryer? Yes, I do. Do you like it? <laughs> My husband uses it more than me. What does he make with it? Um, all the munchies and all the like. We just made something like some potato cheese, cheesy potato bowls. A lot of Indian snacks can be fried in it as well, like samosas and. I think fish fry and a lot of things like that. I'm thinking of getting one. It was Diana who kind of talked me into it. But now it's because I love grilled things and barbecuing. Mm -hmm. But barbecuing is a lot of work and very involved. Mm -hmm. It sounds much easier. Mm -hmm. It is. And it gives but you I'm the mental satisfaction of not using oil. Exactly. Because, um, mm -hmm. exactly. I might uh, ask for one for my birthday. Leo, are you there? Yeah. Oh, I'm I some, coming along. Go ahead. I added some leaves, probably mm -hmm. not enough, but I don't know. Oh, I think that looks lovely. I think it's perfect. Check it off, move on to the next one. I like it. Good. I like it that you keep it light on top. It doesn't quite go to right, but bottom petal is too long, I think. No, That's okay. Anik, I think you've started to solve that problem, probably by getting your background in. These are looking great. I, I discovered uh, in practice something what you said about the, getting the background. That basically, 
it just takes um, mind for a moment from the oh my god i'm not gonna make it mm -hmm. <laughs> gives the new perspective to, oh gosh uh, yeah, part of what's uh, happening is the flower is sinking back into the background right yeah so once you create a background that supports it It looks it other it, it looks immediately better. Mm -hmm. Still, they are not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should rename this class from painting made easy to easy painting made difficult. Or Art painting. Paint, painting. Take it easy. Painting, take it easy. <laughs> I love that one. No, they're coming along though. These are looking great. These are looking really great. I'm just looking at this one and deciding do I want to add in maybe a couple? I kind of like these. So I'm kind of adding in some background flowers. You can't really see them here, but yeah, there we go. Things are still wet here, so it's looking kind of mushy. I'm actually adding in some of the background flowers now. I've kind of decided I think they might help and I can see them. You can see I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm paying attention to light, medium, and dark, but it's much less um, fluid, but there's much less detail in between. Yeah, I think that's actually worth it. Well, we'll see. I don't know yet. My light is not quite as light as what's happening in the front. Yeah, and then maybe the blue. Trying to decide, yeah, I might actually just wait till this dries and make this light on top, this white. It's a little too wet right now. Let's see. Oh, Emma, nice. Um, so I would say I feel like I'd like to see a little bit more thickness here right on these get more of that butter so i bring your dark in a little bit more here and also i would do a little line light line with a thin liner brush around the edge of each of your petals i think that will help push them out and give them a little distinction but looking nice everybody enjoying this
Have you guys seen any of the cat TikTok videos where the cat is talking like a all right, I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, I've seen those. I'm gonna punch you so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> and then like uh, when humans make animal talk like that stupid ways. It's cute. It's funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's really funny. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you so hard. <laughs> Watch you. Leah, is that the you. video with the other animals? Like the, there's a, I don't know, I've seen one recently, my brother actually sent me, um, that there are cats just like getting upset at other animals, like um, a seal, a tiger, <laughs> uh, alligator. <laughs> Yeah, and they're actually chasing the other animal away. So mm -hmm. there's literally a video of a cat chasing away an alligator. Um, <laughs> just by just slapping it, sort of. And All it's right. really, really funny. Rashmi, uh, I like where this is going. So you've lost your dark edge here, right? You're going to want to maybe extend your, you can take a little bit of your medium color and mm -hmm. extend it out, right? Because you've kind of lost it. You've got a bit of yellow here. Yeah, if you look and see. And then you'll want to outline the edge of yours with a little bit of a light, thin liner brush as well. Got about five minutes left, maybe 10, maybe eight minutes. Yeah, I'm sending you a final version. Okay. If if it was more squat, it would look much better. Oh, just a little bit narrower? No, uh, not as tall. Mm, I still think it looks great. Very nice. I like uh, how the purple lays on top of the orange. Oof. So we'll see tomorrow, but it's difficult. Yeah. It's a great practice. More, it's yes, more than I expected. <laughs> it's always that way. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> right? I was laughing. Because, uh, because it's flat, you know, it's flat as in you don't have like. Well, it doesn't have the shape. The shape seems simple. Yeah. The shapes are simple. It's, even the so edge, it's the edges. It's the edges that are the challenge, right? Because like the edges where you've got these sort of soft edges. Uh, blending into each other, uh, trying not to get too detailed. It's a challenge. It's, uh, it's easier for me in a way with watercolor, I think it's easier, but still. Well, I think particularly that one that you were working on was really good for watercolor because uh, you've got so much light in it. Something strange happening here. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> hey, what's happening? Come, 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 come. Oh. Oh my god, 
Did he fall? That Oscar, Emma. Hey, kiddo, how you doing? I can't believe how tall you've gotten. That's what's wigging me out. <laughs> That's what tells me, right, exactly. That's what, right? That's what tells me that we have been doing this a long time. That Anya's yeah. kid was just a baby in, you know, potty training. That Oscar was 12, I think, when we started. What? Yeah. Well, wow. uh, y'all are growing up right in front of us. It's weird. <laughs> Stop, would you? <laughs> yeah, I, I would have joined in, but I had a piano lesson. That's okay. You can do this one. This is a fun one. You might just try it on your own. Yeah, it looks good. Do you see I'm a little hit? I don't really want to end our lesson too prematurely. So we'll go a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer now. Just a little bit longer now. Rashmi, we get you at 8 30 at a reasonable hour for the next um yes. six months. Also, I am really trying to get a, I'm just I was just trying to think today, like I'm trying to get a five a I guess it would have to be like an eight o'clock China Singapore class going. 8 p.m. their time is 5 a.m. my time. Yes, that's how much I love you guys. What time would that be in um in 5 India? 5 30. 5 30 p.m. So that might be kind of nice if one was on a normal schedule. Yes. Right? Yes. So it would be another. So hopefully we'll get that going. I need to have a lot of interest for that one before I start it. It's just not right to get up at five <laughs> unless like, there's people there. <laughs> Which one, Nia? Uh, it's one I haven't started yet for the in the a a Asia Singapore kind of group. Oh, so have they contacted you directly? Yeah, they should be. I'm not hearing much. So because they're talking to me. Oh yeah, you should send it my way. The more I hear. So I explained, there's a guy in Australia who was very interested, but it's in Australia, it's like probably the worst time zone. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but probably similar to, uh, that an Asia time zone would probably be manageable. Yes, I mean, uh, if you go to Australia, you would also get Japan and Korea. Right. And then we've got like, um, and then I can get like India at a normal time. Although I know part of the challenge with India is that everybody's on these crazy rotating swing shifts all the time. But like, I'm but sure there's some, them. well, and I know it switches a lot. So, but it would be nice to have one that was kind of at a, at a, at a sort of more, a less senior hour in India as well. So. Actually, if you start a class for uh, uh, Singapore and um, yeah, so basically if you start a class for China time, 8 p.m., that will cover a lot of countries like That's what South I thought. Korea, Japan. Yeah, and, uh, pretty much Asia. Are, I'm, like, yeah. I'm uh, pretty Australia much thinking about Australia and are like actually that continent apart because they are uh, like 
um, so all these other places are two and a half hours ahead of us. They are six and a half and seven Jesus and a half hours. Jesus Christ. So, so we like won't be able to add Australia. Australia. For US and Australia, it almost becomes a difference of a day or, a new, or that with New Zealand. So then, yeah. the, then Australia should be able to come into one or, well, let's see. We've got... It'll be like 8 a.m. They should be Australia should be able to come into the. Uh, It'll be a late night uh, for them, or like, uh, I think but not necessarily actually. So eight a.m. our t- so eight a.m. This class starts at eight a.m. my time. It's six hours later for you, Rosh. Okay, so that won't work. No. I wonder if Only like six? the three for oh, them oh. from her to to Australia. So if it would be like. Maybe the New York classes. So the New York classes are at 6 p.m., 3 p.m. my time. So it would be, if it was 6 p.m. and they're 14 hours ahead, are they? You're yeah. F- so it would f- be 10 a.m.? Yeah, it's hard. That's a tricky one. Uh, Australia is a really tricky one. Um, New Zealand is worse. They're one hour oh, ahead my God. Australia. I'm not even bothering. I can't, I would love to, but like. We don't have just, that many people in New Zealand. Right. I don't think. Who would know? None of us are up at the same time. But Australia <laughs> is becoming a bigger hub, too. Let's see. Ooh, Anik, you're getting awesome. there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now look how soft that is. Very nice. Very I don't know nice. how many layers. I lost count. <laughs> yes, I know. It goes back and forth, but it's looking fantastic. Um, let's you. spend another three minutes, and then I want you to hold up. I'm oh, gonna... I think it looks fantastic. I know. I think it looks it's great. It's very nice. As well. She's, uh, she thinks it looks great. She's just, uh, agno- she wants us to acknowledge how hard it was. Not finished. <laughs> <laughs> My perfect, right. but yes, you're right. You partially right. right I, so yeah. <laughs> I have removed the spotlight. So, um, uh, when you're ready, put yourself in get do one or two more things and put yourself in gallery view and then hold up okay. your pieces so we can. I'm running see. out. Sorry. Well, Lovely it. clap, Christian. He stayed away. He caught, he's a wet, he's like kind of napping. <laughs> Christian is showing himself up because that was his accomplishment. Right? <laughs> He's got a nice and soothing. Are you learning anyway? Yeah. Uh, Linda, Anik, Emma, Rashmi, turn on your videos and hold up your pieces. Just wherever they're at. They don't have to be finished. Yep. They don't have to be finished. Hold them up. Uh, okay. Ooh, lovely, Rashmi. Oh, I love what's happening. Very, oh, gosh, you guys. Gosh. That's amazing, actually. They're wonderful. Thank you. They're all okay. wonderful. Rashmi, I love what's happening uh, in that bottom puddle. You've done some beautiful. Uh, Linda, we can't see it with that annoying background. Oh, colors are great. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes. Everyone. Everyone. So good. remember the pan. Thank you, Christian likes them. So remember the pansies like the butterfly. It's like a butterfly encapsulated in in petals, in rounded petals. It's beautiful. Uh, Wonderful work, everybody. Uh, You should be so proud of yourself. I want you to look at your painting from the beginning of class that you did in January and look at what you did today. And I think every single one of you is gonna be very happy with the progress that you made, right? Like you're gonna love it. It's really great. I feel like uh, so much progress has been made uh, our our spring quarter, we're going to focus on animals, I think. So three months of animals mm-hmm. painting. I was kind of thinking maybe animals, then the summer quarter, we might do landscapes and then the fall, the winter, uh, the, the, so wait, yes, so please. summer, how is this right? How is that quarters? Okay. Spring is um, animals and then summer to fall is landscapes and then fall to winter will be um, fall quarter will be uh, cities, cityscapes, buildings and things. Yes, please. And I think that will be a fantastic kind of complete year of painting, not including the human figure. What we might do next year in January, if you're up for it, is we may do three months of drawing the figure and then three months of painting it. 
So that may be where we progress to. Well, it just depends on, I feel like this group is kind of pushing and I want to keep going, have you going forward, but you know, we'll just see, we'll define it as it goes. Uh, really wonderful work today, you guys. Um, have a great week off. I'll see you the first week of April. You have the correct schedule in your WhatsApp thread today and uh, keep on painting. Leah, is tom tomorrow is still on? Yeah. Okay, cool. There are Let's classes that there's cl all the classes on Saturday and on Sunday are going. Marie's last class is on Sunday. If you can make it, that would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just keep going from there. And then I'll be in New cool. York next week visiting with our oh. writers folks in New York. So, um, and then I'll see I you think. the first week of April. Full week of April. Bye, guys. Feel better, Bye. Christian.